Hello and welcome to Theme Park Information. In today's show we'll be doing a review for Behemoth, which is located at Canada's Wonderland. Now, rather importantly, it is really, really good to go on this ride first before you go on the Firefront because this is a stunning ride with a great drop, with great airtime, really smooth, has a great track length, has a really good layout, really simple out and back layout, but it's really, really cool. Uh, but if you go on the Firefront first, it will slightly overshadow how good a ride this actually is. It's got really, really cool V-style seating, which means everyone gets a great view. Uh, it has loads of airtime, has a good drop. It has a really short line when we were there as well, which is absolutely great. Thumbs up to that. And it just meant we got on the ride really quickly. It has a really, really good hammerhead turn. Apparently it has about five airtime hills, and I would say it probably has more than that. It has a really, really cool helix section. It is over water at points, so it's in a really pretty and picturesque location. Uh, it generally has a really cool little sign, very like iconic sign as well. It's overall an absolutely stunning ride. It is probably my fifth favourite roller coaster in the world at this moment in time. Uh, unfortunately, the Python is better than it. Uh, it's my first, uh, but this is the ride which I think very much kind of set the bar of where Candace Wonderland needs to set their roller coasters from now on. And I mean, I'll put it this way, it opened in 2008 and it's as smooth as ever. I mean, I, God knows what it was like riding it back then because, I mean, it can't have changed that much because it's glossy smooth. It just has so many positive. I actually can't think of a downside or a negative. It's a great length. It's, you know, really tall. It's got a good drop. It's literally got a really good throughput. Everything. Like, I can't think of a bad thing, and that says a lot. That is how good this ride is. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to Theme Park Information, and I'll catch you guys on the next review.